American literature. Unit 4 Drama A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams Scene 4 Day 3 In the previous scene, we saw that Stella and Stanley had gotten into a fight. But she forgave him and she came down from Eunice's apartment. But Blanche stayed with Eunice. The next morning, Blanche comes down to see if things are alright with her sister. Stella calms, calmly lights on the bed and reads comics as though nothing has happened. Blanche is shocked to see her sister reading something low as comics because according to Blanche, only books are high class and comics are low class. Stella says that Stanley has always broken things and he has always been violent and beaten her but after the end, it all turns out well between them and she knows that he loves her. He had already taken to repair the radio and fix his car and all the things that he had broken were replaced with new ones. He had even given Stella $10 to pacify her. But this is not good according to Blanche. She orders her sister to divorce Stanley. She says he is a madman, an ape and a pig. She compares him to various disgusting animals. She plans on asking Chef Huntley for money to open a shop with Stella. She says that Stella and Blanche could live together as long as Stella found another husband. And who is this Chef Huntley? If you recall the list of characters that we saw in video 1, Chef was the poor boyfriend Blanche had in her college. She cut off the relationship as soon as she found out that Chef was poor. But now Chef was rich and he owned oil wells in Texas, so he was a millionaire. And Blanche thought she could get back with Chip because he was rich. She doesn't have any money. She opens her purse and inside there are only 65 cents, the remnants of Bell Rib, because she had spent the remaining in expensive clothes and jewelry. Stella gives her five dollars from the amount that Stanley had given her. Blanche acts poor to get the money from Stella. So in a way, she manipulates Stella in doing what she doesn't want to do. When Blanche is advising Stella, Stanley arrives and stands outside the window and he overhears everything. Blanche tells Stella, that Stanley is a low caste animal. He was from Poland and Stella was from America, so they had no way of being together. And Blanche advises Stella that Stanley was a vodka man with no taste and he would beat her and even kill her if he got a chance. Stanley overhears all this conversation about him being described as animal and violent. He doesn't like Blanche at all. Stella ends the conversation saying she loves her husband and she was not going to divorce him. Stanley had been rough but that was his nature. Blanche is shocked but Stanley is proud to see that his wife supports him. Scene 5 the same day. Stella and Blanche overhear an argument in the upstairs apartment. Eunice and Steve start fighting with each other. They could hear sounds of aluminum pot being thrown at Steve. Steve comes out and goes away to drink. Eunice goes into a pub to drink too. Steve pacifies her. Stella points this out to Blanche and says it's all normal in New Orleans. Couples fight every now and then and that was part of their lives. Blanche asks Stanley his zodiac sign, the sign of the zodiac under which he was born. Stella proudly says that he is a Capricorn and Blanche says that it is a sign of the goat, another animal. 
and Blanche was born under the sign of Virgo, the Virgin. Both Stanley and Stella know that she is not the Virgin, she is not a pure woman. Stanley asked Blanche if she knew anyone named Shaw. When this question is asked, Blanche perspires, that is, she starts sweating and she becomes nervous and almost hysterical. She says she had never heard anyone of that name, but Shaw had actually been one of her past lovers who had taken her to Hotel Flamingo. Now this was not a good establishment because Hotel Flamingo was a place frequented by prostitutes. And even from Hotel Flamingo she was turned out. She lies that she never knew anyone named Shaw. But later she tells Stella she almost confesses that she had to do many things to earn money. So she accepts to go into Hotel Flamingo with Shaw. Stella brings her sister a Coca-Cola. But Blanche asks her to pour a shot of whiskey into it. She never takes any cold drinks alone. When she pours the whiskey into it, the drink foams and spills onto her white skirt. The red stain reminds Blanche of her husband's death and she becomes completely hysterical. She starts crying and yelling. Later, when she is pacified, she spots a young man come to collect money for the Evening Star magazine. She shamelessly flirts with him and she almost tries to kiss him. Later that night, Mitch arrives with a bunch of roses. She had been waiting for Mitch all the while and in the meantime she had been flirting with a young man too. Blanche calls Mitch Rosen Cavalier or Knight of the Rose in French. This was a romantic character. She imagines that Mitch was a knight from one of the books that she had studied. She makes him bow before accepting the roses because that was what knights in storybooks did. She forces Mitch to once again call her beautiful and she obviously asks the question, how do I look again and again? Thank you for watching scenes 4 and 5. The next video will cover scenes 6 and 7.